In the previous video, we learned how to create layout groups without affecting the URL. Now it so happens that sometimes you may want a route to have a different layout. So in this video, let's learn how to break out of a layout for a particular page in our application. We're going to start by setting up a few extra routes. Within the auth folder, I'm going to create a new folder called password. Within this folder, I'm going to create three more folders. Info, Forgot, and Reset. Within each folder, I'm going to create a plus page.svelte file. For info page.svelte, the HTML is going to be h1 tag, Password must be at least eight characters with a special character and a number. In the other two files, the HTML is going to be an h1 tag with the text forgot password and reset password. I'm also going to add a layout for the password route. So within the passwords folder, create a new file plus layout.svelte. We add a slot to render the route and just above the slot, I'm going to add a paragraph tag that says password layout. Very simple setup if you ask me. With this setup in place, we can go back to the browser and navigate to slash password slash info and we see the information on what makes a good password. Navigate to slash password slash forgot and we see forgot password. Slash password slash reset and we see reset password. Now you might have observed that layouts are inherited from the root. We have the header and footer from the root layout. Welcome to Code Evolution from auth layout. And finally, password layout from password layout.svelte file. And this is the default behavior. Every route inherits layouts from higher up in the hierarchy. But that might not be favorable all the time. Now I like password related functionality grouped into a password folder under auth folder, but I don't really want the same layout for all the three routes. For password info, the current layout is fine. However, for forgot password, I don't want the layout from the password folder. And for reset password, we don't want the layouts from password folder or the auth folder. We only want the root layout. Basically, what we want is a way to break out of the layout hierarchy for individual routes. Let me tell you, SvelteKit makes that really simple. All you have to do is to the page.svelte file, append at symbol followed by the segment name or at symbol followed by an empty string in case you only want the root hierarchy. Let me show you two examples. First, on the forgot page.svelte file, I'm going to add at auth. Make sure auth is in parentheses. So what this does is basically skip the password layout and directly use layouts from the auth folder and above. Back in the browser, if we navigate to slash password slash forgot, you can see we don't have password help text anymore which is the text content in password layout. The route has broken out of that layout and uses layout only from auth folder and the root layout. Similarly, for reset, I'm going to add plus page at followed by an empty string, in which case the layout is the root layout. Navigate to slash password slash reset and we don't see welcome to code evolution. 
we only have the root layout of our application, which is the header and footer wrapping the page contents. As you can see, it is really simple to break out of the layout hierarchy for every route in your application. And let me tell you, this at suffix works on layout.svelte files as well. A layout can also break out of the layout hierarchy. I would like you to try that as an exercise. On the layout file, present in the password folder, add at symbol followed by an empty string. Observe the UI before and after. Let me know in the comment section what is the difference you identified for the info route. If you've understood at a page level, it will make sense at a layout level as well. But that is pretty much about breaking out of layouts in SwellKit. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.